Come on, let's do this. Boom! Welcome back to the channel. This is Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. And today we are talking about Overland Expo East 2021. We're definitely in Virginia. This is my 2021 Coachman Beyond, which is built on a 2020 Ford Transit chassis. We are like in the middle of a farm, a field, something like that right now. Bunch of uh, overland vehicles around us. Range Rover behind me, bunch of Jeeps back there. And there's Morgan. There's some other vans out here and lots of different trailers and stuff like that. But today we're specifically going to talk about overlanding with a camper van. And we're gonna look at some camper vans. We're gonna look at some accessories things that help make it easier, more comfortable, or convenient for you to use your camper van to overland, which is what ours is gonna be. Let's get into it right now. So here we go, Morgan is there. You guys can hear the generators running. On the other side, I'm charging up the batteries. Batteries are like at half. It's running. On. We're about at like 50 something percent, so I figured I would leave the generator running. In a field, there's no place to hook up to. There's no shore power. On a drizzly, rainy, cloudy day like today, there's no solar power. And even if there was a lot of sun, you gotta have a crap ton of panels up there to actually do something, which I don't, and I don't think any van really does you can you know you can have uh, enough panels that you can keep everything trickle charging and maybe keep your battery from going down if you have things running 24 hours like we do but generator is awesome we got that running I'm gonna let you guys walk with us as we walk from here actually through to the expo Lola is here with me today's Saturday this started yesterday on Friday I didn't really film anything with that so this was this is my first time doing Overland Expo of any sort so I figured I'll just walk around and get a lay of the land check everything out that's what we did all day yesterday so today you guys get to hang with us let's do this so, look at that Lola you didn't even have to work to I didn't even place. have to work yeah. not at all Lola there's a video that we put up where we adjusted the door, so Lola's got that going. She doesn't even have to work for it now. So here, here you go. There's a big look at Morgan. I am going to uh, lock the doors. There we go. So they're all locked. And uh, you can see we're at Overland Camping. I don't know if you guys can even read through that. I don't know. Can you? Probably not. And the generator's over here running. It's not super loud, so I'm just going to leave it running. It'll just go until we get back, or it will fully charge up, or at some point. I'm not sure how many hours it runs before it shuts itself off, but it'll be good. I'm liking the, uh, the way the black rims look. I think I need to black out everything else down here. Yep, I know it's overcast. Very overcast. <laughs> And raining, as usual. Always yeah, whenever like we this. do, whenever we do a show. So I'm seeing all kinds of vehicles, pickup trucks, uh, pickup trucks. Yeah, vans. There's other vans. I'll try to point those out to you guys here for what I can of what people have. You know, I don't want to get all up in anyone's business. Check it out. There's people rolling in here. I see another van. Somewhat. I see another transit coming in here. I'll just get a little bit of the roll as people come in. <laughs> yeah. There you go, there's a transit right there. There's another one. Uh, I think that's a sprinter van way, way behind there. Coming in. So there's still people coming in here. This uh, bed camper is actually pretty cool. I think it's an Avion Ultra. I've never seen this. It looks like an Airstream and a pickup truck bed. That's pretty cool. What do you think, Lola? Well, I, was saying, I like says, that. It says 1970 on there. Oh, on yeah? The back, yeah, it said 1970. So that's pretty vintage. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Looks great. Looks good. Yeah. I thought that would be something different to share with you guys as we're 
getting close to being able to actually walk into the event here. A lot more foot traffic here today. We bought some stuff from uh, Step 22, which is right here. So I'm going to follow Lola in. Okay. Um, and we'll show you guys what they have. So this this is going to fall in the category of accessories. And, uh, accessories storage solutions. Yeah. Just cool little things you can use in a in a camper van or any other thing to uh, organize stuff. And there's Adam from over here. I think these guys in this Jeep were right next to us last night. They were. So that's so actually more volume. Lola, we bought this, the Hedgehog. Right. Hedgehog is what you this for us. Then the Hedgehog. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you're looking for more volume, you, you've got it. If she's got a ton of stuff. Yeah, this is great for like the shower. Mean, we got a big stand-up shower. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can have things in here like your, your um, you know, you can have your shampoos and your conditioners and, and um, like your, your bath soaps stuff in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then just keep toothbrushes and things like that in here. A little narrow, Lola. This is going to force her to downsize a little. And then you can roll this all into a bag. It's waterproof. Yep. It comes with a pouch right? So you can hang it. Um, you can hold it, carry it this way as well. You can hang it also up here as well. Um, and I was trying to find one that's already folded up together so you can see uh, how it's probably coming. one on the other side of this. No, not there. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're anticipating this coming I think it looks out. like there's a lot of them now, so yeah. I can share that with you guys. Sorry. And then here's a bigger, here's a bigger tool right here. Because I went back that thing up, and I was like, I need to get the aftermarket. And here's an extra pouch for you. Yeah. You can keep all your different tools in here. It may not fit inside if you're already packed. Wrenches, et cetera. And then roll this. Roll this stuff all up. We'll see if we can get, actually, let's go down to this lovely lady here. And see if we can get a demo of this. Welcome. This one's our pangolin. This is a tool roll. What we did was we married the combination of a tool bag and a tool roll. A tool bag is the best way to carry tools, but a tool roll is the best way to organize them when we put the two together. Right. Um, for space. For space. Yeah, yeah. And just a premium. And and uh, organization because you don't want to have your tools just out and about. So right. Let's organize them. Okay. Um, so what the kit comes with is going to be three bags and a tool, a wrench roll. Um, anything with a red tab is actually Velcro backed. So grab and go. Say you just need this bag, you can just take this one out of the kit. Okay. Cool. And this is the tool roll. This one is the wrench roll. Wrench roll. Wrench roll. And you could probably get this separately if you wanted, right? You can, yeah. This comes as a standalone, um, or you get it with the kit. We've added these flaps because if you ever grabbed a, a wrench roll and launched all your wrenches, well, <laughs> now we keep that from happening. Right. <laughs> It's double sided nice. for you. Yeah. Smaller ones oh, over sweet. here for the dead space, so then you're not wasting any space. Mm -hmm. okay. so, and it very rolls nice. right Obviously, up. you got to get your own tools. Yes, yeah. If it came with tools, it would be a bit pricey. People ask all the time. So How much is this on its own? Um, so, as a standalone, you're about $40 online. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Um, and uh, yeah. then we've got. Oh, sorry, so we've got two pockets here. It's intentional zippers on this side so that you're able to dump out. You have a nice little workspace. You're not losing stuff in the dirt and things like that. Little things. Busy mesh, you're able to see kind of what's inside of these pockets. Um, on this side of the bag, we have a full-size zipper pocket. Oh. Think of things like your shop rags, shop towels, maybe gloves. Flat stuff. Flat stuff, exactly. It's not taking up real estate in a bag. You're able to lay it flat here, and it rolls up with the bag. He thought of everything from the T-handles. If you've got gloves on, you're trying to fidget with a, with a little zipper, grab the T-handle and you're able to open it right away, keep it nice and easy. Mm -hmm. um, comes with little Velcro pa patches. You're able to label what's inside what of these. everything is. Okay. Exactly, so you look at it and you're like, cool, I know what's in each bag. Right. The top zippers, so you're able to see what directly what's inside of them. Okay. Yeah, so this has a lot of tools in it. it it's full, this bag is full. Oh, wow. Okay. You would know it. Everything Exactly. This little hook, this little G hook on the side, people ask, all right, what's that for? You know, maybe you're in a workspace that's limited on space. The bag might be in the way, something like that. He added this hook so that you're able to roll this away. And now you're thinking to yourself, well, I just rolled up one of my handles. What if I'm done at my truck, want to go to your truck? Not a problem. He's added a handle back here and a handle here. You can still grab and go. The bag is able to go. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. He thought of every detail possible. When you're ready to go, this bag is full of tools. Give it a nice roll. I don't know where it's coming from. Good to go. That's a bag full of tools. To yeah. Exactly. Nice little cinch, cinch things up, and away you go. So, how much is the pangolin from you guys? So, the pangolin online is 140. 140. Um, we ha it comes in the multicam black mm -hmm. for 165. Okay. Oh, good question. That, that would be a good question. So, is it only the black, or can you get different colors? Yes, yeah, so we have two different colors. Um, this would be the black version, um, just different material. Still got that heavy duty material on the bottom. Uh, okay. You, you got wrap still, around handles. Yeah, you can still uh, molly stamp and straps. Totally. Stuff here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah if this, you guys are looking, we'll have links in the description. <laughs> yeah, give us a look. They wrap all the way around, so I mean, if you're if you're gonna break one of these handles, you uh you're doing something wrong. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Put something on there. Yeah, that hook was to uh, wrap it up when I demoed earlier, and okay. you can wrap that bag up and yeah. store it away. So that's what that guy's for. So what kind of uh, like what kind of warranty? that kind of stuff you guys have on these. Um, obviously if it's if it's maybe the bag is falling apart, mm -hmm. Adam Wood is awesome about you know shoot him an email and say hey this is what's going on. If you're being negligent about the bag, obviously that's on you and uh, okay. but if it's if it's a manufacturer defect and something's falling apart, reach out to him, he'll honor his products, okay. things like that. But and it's waterproof, right? All it's water resistant. Resistant, resistant. Right. So anything with a zipper, anything with like a seam obviously can't be waterproof. Per se, but it is water resistant. <laughs> the heavy duty material, so tear, tear resistant. Yeah, it feels great. Yeah. Yeah. Nice heavy duty material. So this one, now the smaller version of this is the Hedgehog. I don't uh -huh. know if you know that's what I'm Kind of like demo one of those. Let's see. I'm just trying to take it off of here. No, it's it's, it's zip tied oh, okay. down. It's it is zip tied. Yeah, we uh, yes. sold out of those for the show, but I can. Yeah, we bought one yesterday. Awesome. I'm lucky. Lucky I got one yesterday. Yeah, we'll give yeah. Up the rest of them now. Yeah, so this one's our Hedgehog. It's, it's a similar design as far as the roll and stow into the bag. Mm -hmm. This is a hanging toiletry. So this is great for people that are camping. Maybe you don't have counter space to work with, so you've got the hanging version. Yeah. And uh, what we like about it is that everything, you can see everything in it, you know? You're not digging through, find, trying to find stuff. Like, it's just displayed nice and neatly. Yeah. Again, red tabs. This is Velcro back, so if you go, uh, you know, for a day hike or something, you need this little bag, you can grab and go. Or if someone's in the shower and someone... Exactly right. Rip it off and give it to them. That's why uh -huh. we got it. That's what, yeah. We have like a big stand-up shower now, but oh, relatively, awesome. it's small. Okay. You know, and doesn't have a lot of space, so both of us may be going at the same time. So yeah, you know, absolutely. I might need something to just rip it off of. Yeah, and nice little bag at the bottom. So like you know, if you're dumping your keys and stuff, you can put them in there. Mm -hmm. There's a grommet hole at the bottom. That's intentional because if water gets down there, it's gonna drain. Just drain out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Same design, what's the hook for? Well, if this is in the way, you can stow it away. There's stuff in it, but you know, you get the idea yeah. that. And this one has a card holder, so you can put it does. whoever it belongs to. Uh huh. Put that in there. Okay. Comes with the mirror. Okay. How nice little pockets up here. I can give it a go. Yeah. yeah. Just pack some stuff in there. Show the folks like to uh, absolutely. And we'll show you guys as we're using it. We haven't taken it. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So same, same concept. Awesome. Nice little handle, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, yep, same thing. Little cinch on this side. Just two hands. Pull uh, opposite directions. There we go. You don't have to. You don't have to hammer down tight. Just nice and easy. Ready to go. So, um, one last thing with you guys here. I noticed this is the hedgehog. You got the pangolin. Yeah. Oh, Adam told me about this yesterday. Uh -huh. Where did the names come from? So, uh, so if you haven't told, if you can't tell already, hedgehog rolls. If you know what a pangolin is, that's a rolling animal. It's one of the only mammals that has scales, but it rolls up like a little potato bug. So everything is kind of named after a, an animal that kind of matches that. Um, hedgehog, or this one's the tortoise, kind of that like shell. Um, so what Adam does is he donates 1% of every cells to animal conservation. 
So he holds animals near and dear to his heart, and uh, he wants to give back to the earth and back to the animals that were here first. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So there's some thought that goes behind the name. Yeah. And there's <laughs> as well. Absolutely. Like dropping all the stuff out. Just ruining our display. I'm sorry. The wife's get it all set up for you before we left. You are awesome. Thank you. So check out uh, Step 22. Uh, we'll have some more stuff. We'll do some more things with them here. We just met him and uh, bought some stuff. But, you know. Yeah, yeah give us a look. Step22gear.com. Um, there's a bunch of product reviews. We love our love our YouTubers and everyone who's getting these products out here. And like, oh, man, we saw that online. So we appreciate you guys. And you can give us a look on the give us a follow on Instagram as well. Um, we have some new awesome products coming down the pipeline, and that's where you're gonna find it first. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Lots of good stuff in here. If you like a van life or whatever. Else. I know how it is. All right. So we actually we got Adam. He's uh obviously he's busy here talking to everyone. But this is. Hey guys, I'm Adam. Thanks. Th uh, thanks for coming out. Yeah, something I think is great in the van or anywhere else people need to use it are Molly panels. And you guys have a bunch of them here, including one for the visor. Yeah. So what? what actually, what? Gentlemen. <laughs> actually, what? What we've done is we've taken a Velcro and Molly and married the two together. So typically, you just got a Molly panel, mm -hmm. which is uh, used for Molly, or you've got Velcro. Hook mm -hmm. and loop. Velcro is a uh, a brand of hook and loop. Mm -hmm. So we're working with Velcro. Uh, with Velcro, it's called One Wrap, and that basically is hook on one side, loop on the other. And we by marrying the two together, now we've got a Molly panel that's also adjustable, right? So you can still weave your Molly bags onto it. You can also stick other hook and loop or velcro yeah. products to it you put patches on there you can put you can yeah patch game strong and yeah, you can so also they're create they're what they're we're they're calling holsters so you can see yeah. because it's modular that's it's cool. it's endless in the uses now you can also weave through paracord stretchy cord so now you're not just limited yeah, to like hold something in there like totally yeah. yeah you can you can you could use a stretchy cord or anything this is the back side of a panel so we want to show you you can if you've got a side of a camper or another backpack or something that's uh, velcro compatible we got the hook here so you can stick the panel to it but we've also got that molly grid so if you got another rigid panel or a backpack or a panel you wanted to hook it to so it really it is truly merit inside a bag inside a bag in a bag a panel in a bag or whatever it is you, with those two worlds are coming together now and you can you can merge the two so mm -hmm. it's not just one or the other it's both together yeah so these are uh, these are going to be they're in production now okay. uh, you know so we're, these are all prototypes eating. we're looking at yeah these are prototypes the, the first styles that will be launching of these are going to be the sun visor panel okay cool these panels are designed to fit inside our stingray flat boxes okay so everyone who's got a stingray flat box you'll notice on the inside you've got some uh, loop strips we have, before we didn't tell you what those are for those are actually for these panels now you can use them for some other stuff but you're going to be able to on the inside Inside of your stingray, be able to organize that that smaller stuff. We got one right here as an example. So that that strip right there, you can hook that. So now inside, whether it's a camera kit or or a coffee kit, you've got organization without stuff getting lost in that like that you know that black hole type thing. Yeah. Um, so so that's that. To be organized. That's what we found out about the van. Yeah. Yeah. Everything needs to be organized. Have its place. Yep. Um, so all of these things. Go ahead, one of my favorite things is this. Oh yeah. The, the easy ride patch. And so, and, and oh, yeah. with the Stingray, this is there's it's for more than one reason. Mm -hmm. One day it's your coffee kit, the next day it's your camera kit. But also, one day you're putting this box in another box and you need to read it from the top side, right? The next day you put it in your van and you put it in a cubby that sits up this way. Well, now you need to read it from the side, so you stick it on the side, right? Then the next trip you move this to your other rig and it fits better this way, so now you put it on the front, so you can put it wherever it's going to fit and swap them out depending on yeah, what, what sure. your That's really loadout is. Yeah. And so this is also um, this is also a prototype here? Yes, yeah, so this is uh, this is production quality. This is actually what you're seeing is what you'll get. This is the chameleon. Chameleon changing its colors. Mm -hmm. Working uh, names were camp kitchen, junk drawer, right? Because it has so many uses. So that's why we ended up with chameleon carry-all. Uh, the Suburban, the original Suburban truck was called the carry-all. And it was just a kind of a big old truck that was, you know, multi purpose so it's kind of a play on words of this old of the old truck and carry all I mean carry all your stuff depending what it is chameleon changes its yeah, colors this is cool. uh, we like this because you know Lola wants to do some cooking but probably outside of the van yeah so to have everything she could just take it out there 
yeah. put it up, and we could probably figure out a way that she can easily so, get up like this and have access. What you see here are two pieces from our Molly hook in, which is a way to easily, uh, quickly attach and detach anything that's Molly compatible. So you might be traveling with this behind your seat or in between some other bags. Right. You get to camp, you do a flip up, a drop down, a swing out. Mm -hmm. You easily just hook this up real quick, unzip it. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's your toiletry, you're set up and easy to get washed up. If it's your kitchen, it's easy and then easy to take it down. Right. The entire back panel is actually Velcro, so it's removable, right? So using our same Molly Velcro panels, you can build these out. You could also take this panel off. You could put a small panel and a pouch. You could put four pouches. You could change it trip to trip. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's. <laughs> it, and well, with all of our gear, the uh, the idea is this is the pouch originally designed for the hedgehog toiletry roll. Okay. But maybe you don't need to. You could take one. You could put in your chameleon. Mm -hmm. You could take you know your panel that is normally in your chameleon, and then you could go put it in your stingray. Mm -hmm. Right. So everything is meant to be worked with each other, mm -hmm. and you might find the way everything gets set up. And that's set and you leave it mm -hmm. or you change your loadout you change your rig you change the trip that you're doing you can swap things back and forth so you're always organized right yeah. you're taking more stuff you're taking less stuff you're changing from camp camp kitchen to, to uh, radios and tech using these panels yeah. using the velcro you'll see we got some web loops up top so we're our, we're thinking ahead for this one we do have some other items in the work that's going to be a little more modular you got your three zippered pouches down below clearly see right you got your smaller items in top your medium items in the middle and your larger items down on the bottom right spices you know ketchup uh, pepper packets toothpicks whatever it is down to your 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 basically your mug size items down in the bottom and then when you're all done zip it up, unhook it, right? Same cool. same easy right patch on top. So you're changing your loadout. You can write on there what it is, but it's is swappable. This one, this one, we're trying to hit holiday here, so maybe by Christmas. So it's in might be into January uh, or quarter one of next year. As everyone knows, depending on when you watch this, you know, basically COVID's got supply chains and everything around the world super behind. We're tired of saying it. You're tired of hearing it. Unfortunately, it's just the world that we're in right now. Trust me, I want to get products to market as soon as we possibly we can for you guys. Everyone's excited well, about this stuff. We're all getting out. Yeah, we're, we're excited about it. So, yeah. This is great. So, listen. We found out about these guys from Yeti and YOLO, yep. and they use awesome, a lot of your awesome, stuff. Awesome, awesome people, yeah. great friends. Yeah, YOLO's actually here somewhere, yep. but uh, we'll we'll keep we'll keep up with you guys with uh, stuff from Step 22 as it comes out. Where are you guys based? California, San Diego, California. San Diego, California. Yeah. All right, so we got to we got to make a trip out there. Yeah, and you can find us online step22gear.com or on Instagram or Facebook at all of those Step 22 Gear. And if you guys have any more questions about what you've seen here, make sure to reach out and contact me through the website or Instagram or Facebook or any of those method methods happy to answer questions we just found Timberline and if you guys saw the video that we did with the new Ford Transit from Midwest automotive slash American coach the uh, what was it the Ford Patriot and Ron was saying that it has the new Timberline system in it. This is the exact system that's in that. And then we're going to talk to this gentleman here. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb. So Caleb, tell us all about this. Since this is a, you know, people might be seeing these in vans. Yeah. More. Yeah. So, so that, what are we looking at? So this is a hydronic heating system. It's a 17,000 BTU gasoline heater. Okay. Um, it, can, it comes in diesel as well. We heat up a ethylene glycol, it's 50-50 dex cool is what we run. Mm -hmm. You run it through your flat plate heat exchanger, cold water comes in one side, hot water comes out the other, and it runs, um, we heat it up, it runs continuous hot water as well as on demand. Oh, okay, so you don't have to, it's not like a five gallon that no. fills up and then when your wife has a shower you have to wait for it. <laughs> no. No, if you start it up from cold, when you're not producing heat, it takes yes. about 10 minutes to heat up. 10 minutes? Okay. Um, All right. So, and, and if it runs out, it'll just bring in more water and heat it up. Keep yeah. It, it just point. keeps heating from there continuously. Okay. So, if you, so, and it's running off the engine? It's running off of the 17,000 BCU gasoline heater. The gasoline yeah. heater. Okay, so this is feeding from your gas tank? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this goes so, from your gas tank. Okay. 
Um, is this, yeah, what's on the flip side of this here? So this is your control box that controls the, the brains of the system. Mm -hmm. This is just the wiring harness here. This is the battery. The battery, which is on board already for you. Yeah. Um, you have an expansion tank here. Mm -hmm. And in any closed loop, you have to have room for expansion, so that's what this is. Okay. It's, and then there's a, also an element in here. It's a 110 volt element, mm -hmm. and it's 1500 watts of output. Okay. So that's about 5,000 BTUs. Okay. The gasoline so my, here is 17,000 BTUs. Okay. So, um, so my question to you, so like this one is set up for diesel if anyone's looking, but you yeah. could do the same thing mm -hmm. with gas. My question to you, can this be retrofitted in a van? Yes. Or, okay. No problem. Okay. Is it... Tap what, into the existing fuel tank and then okay. run, run your system just basically how it is on the board. Okay. So wherever your system is now, you would take that out, whatever you have. Uh, yeah. Truma, let's say. Yeah. For example. And then you would put this in. What does this cost if someone wanted to retail do this? on this system is forty five hundred dollars. Forty five. Okay. And you would take off all your propane tanks, and mm -hmm. all that, so you save a lot of weight as well as space. Okay. In, in the coach. In there. So is this something you guys think that someone could do like DIY, or they need to go to a professional um, to get this kind of stuff done? There are a couple customers that will do it DIY. Mm -hmm. Most of them take it to a dealer. They'll yeah. buy it or and take it to a dealer or buy it from the dealer. And have them install it. Oh, okay, and the but, only thing that's attaching to your vehicle is the is the gas line, the fuel the line, line, right? Going, going okay, very and cool. Then from Go ahead. there, then this system comes out of your hot plate heat mm -hmm. exchanger for your hot water. It goes into your cabin heaters. Okay. And there's a fan on the back side of this. The fans are are variable speed so they'll go on and off mm -hmm. and come up and down as needed mm -hmm. from your air ambient temp sensor and okay that's this right here and okay displayed on the so display for heating right is this you okay has its own display oh yeah actually i saw this in the van yeah because you can have there's a clock version of this display yeah. right yeah 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 so is it more efficient for heating the van than like let's say the propane systems that are out there yeah it's very efficient you only have one fuel source okay um, you use about 0.21 gallons per mm -hmm. hour and that's mm -hmm. on high that's everything on okay. high from there yeah um, and how much electricity is it using it uses 4.3 amps of, okay. of draw on 12 volt mm -hmm. on high on high yeah okay and yeah. The one thing to remember though, mm -hmm. I, we talked about the electrical element. Yeah. That is only 5,000 BTUs, so you'll okay. get some heat output, but you yeah. won't get enough for hot water. Yeah, most of it is coming from, from running through this. You have to run your gasoline heater to get Okay, hot. yeah. That's cool. So this is the, and then what's the weight? And what's your weight difference? I know you were saying that when you take out the propane tank, you're saving. And then also you don't have to do that silly, like switch off the propane tank yeah. when I, you drive over bridges or whatever. I'm not totally sure mm -hmm. how much the propane tanks weigh and the furnace that you're mm -hmm. taking out and the hot water heater you're taking mm -hmm. out. But you take those three components out and ours weighs about 50 to 60 pounds. So okay. With, the, with all the glycol in, inside yeah. as well. So. Oh, okay, cool. So my last two questions, where are you guys located? Washougal, Washington. There you go, Washuga. Yeah, Washougal. Washougal, Washington. And then if folks want to find out more about Timberline, how can they do that? Uh, if they have a system or anything, mm -hmm. uh, you if you have any issues, push the center button that has all of our info on there. There you go, just close up on that. And if they don't have it yet, they can just go to, to timberline.com. Okay. It's on the sticker here. Awesome. Caleb, right? Yes, Caleb. I appreciate Good it. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, man. I see you also have these units for our other chassis as well. What is yeah. this one? So these are our four stair furnaces. Uh, this is a two kilowatt diesel unit. Okay. This is a four kilowatt gasoline unit here. And this, this one is for the transit? Uh, oh, get transit, Pro Master, no. anything oh, gasoline. Yeah. Anything yeah. gasoline. Yeah. yeah, and this will be the diesel. This is your diesel. Yeah. We also make the bigger model in a diesel unit as well. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We found some vans right here, Sprinter vans. Obviously, I think this is Outerly. We'll go here. We'll take a look. I'll roll while we go through. These are the big, uh, the big Sprinters. I will answer all your questions. Roll back any outerly. Outerly. Here you go. This gentleman awesome. says he will answer all your right. questions. Yeah, tell us about Outerly before we start. Uh, we're, uh, we're, yeah. we're based out of uh, Long Island, New York. Um, we've been building bands about two years oh. now. Here um, in Long Island? Yes, oh, yes, okay. yeah, yeah, about two years. And we, uh, this is one of our builds right here. So. Oh, cool. oh whoa. Yeah. So oh, these are pretty. 
Yeah, so this, this one is, is pretty sexy. fully outfitted one right here. So yeah, I like these guys. Yeah, we have uh, heated floors in this one. Heated so floors. Heated yeah. floors, man. Yep. These are fancy. Yeah, yeah, heated floors. When we have a uh, wet, Look at the wet bath. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Look at that shower, guys. That is amazing. Look, is this gold lame? <laughs> the shower head. Yep, and then we have a uh, vacuum sealed toilet right there. So oh. you use it up to 17 times, and when you're done, just throw out the bag. And that's oh, it. So cool. there's no okay. there's no black water tank in no this. No black. One. Okay. Yeah, yeah, only gray water. Then we have a farmhouse sink with the yeah, this all is beautiful. The gold, all the gold fixtures. I um, love this deep this sink. This looks great. Yeah. Look at that. But that wow. those two bench sheets turn into a king size bed back there. Oh wow. So you just throw a sheet over it, and now you got a king size bed. The board pulls oh, out. How does that? How does that work? So on, on the right side there, there's a board that pulls over it to the left side. And oh okay. Magnetically latches to the other. Oh, side. Oh I see it. Yeah. yeah. And then now you have uh, a king size bed back there. Wow. Or if you know you're camping with someone and you don't know too well, yes, you have there's two, the board. Two beds. Two beds. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So the right side is all of our heating, cooling, and plumbing system. And this? Uh, okay. No, under, under the bench. The bed. Yeah, oh, under, under the bench. bench. Oh, right there. Yeah, and I see. I see on, the vents. Uh -huh. On uh, the other side is uh, the solar system is set up and all electrical. Uh, we okay. have uh, 400 amp hour batteries. Uh, full Victron energy system. So we oh, have cool. 400 watts on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. um, propane stove. Uh, we upgraded all the the captain seats over here to mm -hmm. Tempur-Pedic foam ones. Swivel. Is this so? Uh, what Mercedes is this? Uh, this 2020. Is, this is the 2020 uh, 170 extended. The okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. So what does so you guys build from scratch? You yep. build to order. What do you guys do? We do build from scratch. Uh, mm -hmm. We also offer in kits now as well. So on this van over here, we're mm -hmm. offering that as a kit. So soon we'll be on our website where you can actually go to our website, order the kit. Either have it delivered to your house and sold it yourself, or mm -hmm. we can install it for you. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So, what does a van like this cost? So, this one in particular is around two hundred thirty thousand. Two thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. And that's everything. That's including all exterior stuff, bumpers, uh, three-inch lift kit, roof rack, awning, uh, yeah, tire rack, good. everything. Yep. Yeah. So, with the one that comes in the kit, we'll go look at that one. Just yeah. give us the details of that. What does the kit cost? Uh, right Separate. now, we're still working on the pricing on that. Uh, we okay. just finished up this demo van right now. Uh, mm -hmm. We had everything three D scanned, and now we're just waiting to get everything. CNC cut and figure out labor costs, and then from there we'll be able to figure out how much the kit would be. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Can we take a look at it? Yeah, Let's yeah go. go for it. Yeah, we, there might be some folks the in there. Yeah. We'll go take a look at that. Oh, actually, I think there are some people in there. Let's look at the back of this. What do you guys have yeah, on the so back? We, we have the, um, the owl uh, storage owl box. Bands. Yeah. yeah. So this one is mainly two storage, and then you have the uh, the bike rack here, uh, mm. the spare tire rack as well. Uh, we're just we need an adapter plate to fit the wheels for the dualies on here, so okay. we're just waiting on that. Yeah, when and then there's in. a roof rack up top. Yeah, the Luminous roof rack, which is yeah. fantastic. And then the yeah. solars up there, there's plenty of storage to go up there, which is really, yeah. really nice. And there's two ladders on yeah. the side here. Yeah. yeah, so what we did is um, we put, we're going to actually move that one front ladder over uh -huh. here to the back. Uh, okay. The reason for that is you can't really access, you just access solar panels and that's really senseless so you have that over there. Yeah. So we're going to move the ladders over here, just have to modify a couple things and we'll be okay. set to go on that. Yeah. Cool. Here, uh, so here, you guys can see there's a roof rack up there. I'm not going to climb up and all that. <laughs> but this is a beast. Uh, we, do, we do Mercedes and we do the transits. Okay, yeah. so you're doing some yeah. transits. Yeah. Do you guys have any transit here? No, currently we do not. Um, this one is a customer build and that one is our demo build over there. Mm -hmm. uh, the transits, all the customers were like, oh no, we're, we're going away for the week. We yeah. won't be here. I was like, ah, no big deal. We'll just so show up. So with the transits, are you going to do any kits? So like, uh, we as have of, a transit, but ours is built out. Yes. For the folks who want to get a transit and yep, yep. do it up. So you're yeah. going to do that? Yeah, so we're working on it as well. So we have a transit in the shop right now. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're 3D scanning it. We're going from there. Uh, once that gets through, that's probably a couple months out um, once it is ready we're gonna be offering kits for that and then cool. we're gonna start and we offer we build our own side steps and our own uh, tire and ladder racks for oh the, cool for them let's as well. get a, let's get a look yeah. at this one we'll go through here let's get inside of this so is this a shorter is this a so this, this this is the 144 exactly okay. yeah so cool. Let's, let's same, take a look same, at it from the outside. Same thing on this one. This is a uh, heated floors on this one as well with the Rickson system. Um, this one has a, a cruise and comfort air conditioning system, so it's actually mounted under the van like a mini split style. Okay. Yep. Uh, this one has the swivel seats in the front. We have the luminous bumper, uh, the Rome built uh, roof rack over here, and then we have our own built uh, outerly side steps right here, a little dirty. But oh, yeah. that's nice. These are. Oh, these do you guys the, have this for uh, for a transit van? Uh, no, we are. We are, oh, they are love to get that. Yeah, they're yeah. in design right now, so we're oh, working cool. on them. Yeah. And then I'll show you the back over here. Yeah, let's look at the back while we're uh, waiting. So this for is our this is our up. tire rack and ladder rack in one that we just oh, nice. that we just designed and built. So uh, this one swings out, mm -hmm. locks into place. 
and then you can climb up, you can do climb it. Up. Yeah. Do it. Will you guys have that for the transit? Yeah. So the same thing. So the transit is just a step behind. We've only mainly been doing Mercedes, mm -hmm. but now once the transit are becoming more popular, it's actually easier to get than the Mercedes yeah. right now. Yeah. So we're focusing on getting that done. It's better. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the Pro Masters. My humble opinion. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, uh, I like the windows in the back of this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, these are the uh, the CR Lawrence uh, windows, mm -hmm. which are really nice. So with this one here is mm -hmm. our Murphy bed. So what happens is That's that cool. this bed these. it folds up, and then the, we haven't cut the mattress yet. But once the mattress cut, this half will roll, fold up, and then this will fold down, and now it's tucked up against the wall over here. And then you have a very big counter space over here because our, our kitchen galley up front is is small, and with a small kitchen galley, you need more counter space over here. So yeah. that's that was our main goal. And then you get a very large garage area back here too. So yeah. if you want to load your bikes up or any type of gear. You just throw it in there and you're ready to go. So this one, when we go into it, has no bathroom. Consuming. Well, I want to show you that. That's actually a really cool oh, feature. Of this okay, yeah. I like the I like the wood roof though. That's awesome. Yeah, all this is done um, in cedar. So it's in cedar. It's bug resistant and it's really good with uh, expansion and contraction with the humid yeah. weather. So okay, yeah. Let's really see if we can get in here. Yeah, yeah. Take a look from the inside. Oh, also we have all the uh, Baja. Uh, not Baja. The uh, yeah Baja design uh, loading lights, and in the front we did all the Baja. Uh, fog lights and, and running lights in front okay. as well. So we have the, the black rhino wheels and all this. Yeah, those look good. The 17-inch black rhinos, yep. Yeah. We still have the caps on them, but we want more of the military style, so you can yeah. put them on the caps on. If you look at this black rhino right here, this is with the center cap on, and it gives it a little bit more of a pop-out yeah. look on it. But we like we like that flat look, so we did with the black lugs, and yeah. that's there. While yeah. we're waiting here, can I take a look underneath at the AC system? Because yeah. you're saying so this, in the back, right? <laughs> this, it's in the back. Yeah, let's try to look under here. What side is it on? It's right in the middle, actually. So right in the middle. Okay. Yep, the, yeah, let's try to take a look at that. So here's here. a comfort. This is it right oh, here. Wow. This is the condenser right here, uh -huh. and to your left is actually the heating system. So that's your S bar heater with the Rixon system attached to it. Right yeah, there. I yeah. see it. Yeah. And then you have your gray waters up in the middle of the van on the. On the left side on the upper side over there right um, and that's pretty much it for under the and, van. Uh, are there batteries down here nope the batteries are inside they're all inside yeah. okay actually, actually, cool. this, actually they're right here actually all right I'll show you the batteries back here okay all victron energy so victron yeah setup. okay full victron setup the batteries are tucked in the back yeah. over you can't really some but we have down there. three 200 amp hour batteries back there that's cool full 3000 watt inverter and all 12 volt system. We try to focus everything on 12 volts, a little mm -hmm. more energy efficient because your inverter right. does pull power. Yeah. There's no reason to pull power if you don't have to. Absolutely, yeah. That's one thing I'm learning the hard way. <laughs> yep. All right, we'll try to get inside now and take a look at the yeah. inside. <laughs> Let's do it. I like this out here, by the way. I like the splash of color speakers. Yeah, yeah. Is this a table? Yep, that's a table uh, with the full color nice. speakers up top. So when you listen to music, easily do it. Bluetooth connection, and then you listen to music right outside. Cool, yeah. that works. All right. So it's so. the interior. So basically, what we have is the stock swivel seats that come with the yeah. Mercedes. This mm -hmm. is the Mercedes with the driving assist and the active cruise control. Mm -hmm. A really, really comfortable driving. Is this right. a 2020 also? This or? is 2019. 2019. So we have okay. um, we have the S Pod that controls all of our lighting system. Oh, okay. Um, so we can control. Yeah, I've our, seen those before. Those yeah. are cool. Yeah, you can do your. It's my line. first time seeing it in a van. They're great. You can do all kinds yeah. of stuff with them. You can, yeah. Energy management. So yeah. this is our kitchen galley. So mm -hmm. a very small, compact kitchen galley with the um, the uh, stove top. It's flush mounted as well. So you yeah, can induction. Put your, yeah, induction. So like, put your, your cutting board right on top. Mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about anything. And then, like I said, when this folds up. You get a full counter on this side once okay. one side is folded up. But we have plenty of storage up top for everything. Mm -hmm. We got the isotherm refrigerator, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Microwave, more storage. Uh, this would be actually a toilet right here. So here's oh, our, there you go. Yep, okay. Here's our toilet. And over here is where our shower is. So this is our shower. Oh, so shower. you do still have the yep. very nice shower in yep. here. So it's basically a shower tub. Yep. And what the mixer uh, is here and the shower head is up here. Oh, this is it. Yep, this is it. And then oh, we don't have the shower curtain cool. with us, but we installed magnets up in the ceiling. So okay. our shower curtain is going to magnetically latch to the ceiling. So you don't That's have to nice. worry about anything wet. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And yeah. I like like this part of the walls here has that same, what do you call it, cedar? It's, it's all cedar. Yeah, cedar yeah. Uh, tongue and groove. That's yep. a nice piece of space right there. Yeah. Tucking yeah. the shower away. Yep. Yeah, so we were going. We wanted to be big and comfortable in here, for, yeah. so anyone can fit. What are we looking? You probably said it. I asked you before. What are we looking at on a van like this if it's fully built? This one fully built is one hundred ninety thousand. Yeah, night. yeah. That one we were looking at before it was two thirty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is like the our controls. controls. Yeah, so here. our lighting control here. Mm -hmm. 
is all dimmable as well. You hold them and mm -hmm. dim them. This is your uh, dump valve for your gray water tank. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your sea level, so you can see your battery life, how much fresh water you have mm -hmm. left, how much gray water you have. Uh, we don't have black water or anything else going on here. Here's our inverter controls, and then we have the Victron Servo uh, touchscreen over here as well. So you can oh, this monitor, is a Victron. Okay. Yeah, you can monitor your solar panels. You can monitor your batteries. You can monitor absolutely everything. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. So what parts can someone purchase? You said someone can Just buy the kit. The so cabinet. What comes in a kit. Just the cabinet. Cabinet tree. Yeah, oh, the so cabinet tree. Buy yeah, all the cabinet trees can be as a flat pack. Either delivered to your house or we can sell it for you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so just uh, for the folks out there who are watching this, if they want to find out more about Outerly, what do they do? Oh, you can check out our website, Outerly.life. Okay. Um, and then you can check us out on Instagram, the same thing, Outerly.life. Awesome. Instagram. I'll follow you guys right now. All right. Excellent. Okay. So, you know, if you're, if you're a Jeep guy, a van guy, or whatever kind of car you're driving anywhere, <laughs> if it's all-wheel drive 4x4, you could get stuck. So, you know, that's where uh, tracks like this come in. This is uh, US action tracks that you guys have. Yep. So William Goes is gonna give us the rundown What's of happening? action tracks. What's and, happening? And what I would say first, which you probably heard a hundred thousand times already, is what's the difference between action tracks and like max tracks? Okay, well first of all, that's a curse word in our booth. So oh. we don't, yeah, oh. we don't use My that bad. word okay. over here. We call them the I'll higher end. <laughs> yeah, we call them the higher end Australian imports, right? right? So the biggest difference is one, we are American made, right? Okay. Made right there in Wichita, Kansas, and we source American materials. From DuPont, we've actually worked with them and created a compound that's a whole lot better than the nylon six that is made with the Australian imports that okay. you talked about. All right. cool. Also, versus the Australian imports that you may be familiar with, we have bigger hand holes. In America, we have bigger hands, and then we like to use gloves whenever we're getting dirty. So we have those bigger hand holes that let you use the let you use the board in a couple different ways so you can use it to scoop the material out but more often than not what you find yourself doing is actually kind of sawing at the material mm -hmm. so once you saw that material with the saw blades that we give you there you can really get it up underneath the tire right. also it acts as good self-defense right yeah. so if he's giving you a hard time man you just jerk him with this thing and, yeah you don't have to worry about it the other thing is, is this material also provides good flexibility and what that allows you to do is set it up on jagged rocks and you don't have to worry about it breaking, right? Mm -hmm. And there's no embrittlement issues whenever you get down in the colder temperatures like you see on some of the other Australian imports okay. that we talked about. What kind of warranty do we have on this? Five year warranty. Okay. You send it back a piece, we send you back a whole board. Okay. But I haven't, we haven't done any warranty replacements with this prototype in 18 months. This is the 19th prototype. Okay. Yeah. So, so we got it dialed in. Improving it. Constantly, yeah. Okay. So what are the features? I think you said there's a couple of features. Yeah, so you got two different um, types of boards, and I'll show you right over here. The two different boards that we offer are the standard polymer right here and then the studded, okay? Mm -hmm. And the studded, what that's gonna do is this is gonna act kind of like a Velcro up underneath your tire. It's gonna really allow that traction board to get under the tire and get you out of the hole that you're in. Now, on the polymer side over here, what happens is inevitably people will spin tires, and if you spin tires, you eat up these teeth, right? Mm -hmm. What we've done though is we've hooked it up with what we call a serviceable lug. You're able to actually drill this out right here and put in all your studs, and you can turn it into one of these boards. If you need to. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Um, and what is the price of these? So we're running show specials. Typically though, these are 269 on our website and these are 349 on our website. So USA Action Tracks or usactiontracks.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then one last thing that I would ask you. So let's say like I have a big dually van. Yeah. Right. What would you do in that scenario? Like one, if you got stuck, how would you get out using yeah. these? Or so the very what would first, you advise? Yeah. So the very first thing that you're going to do is I tell everybody the golden rule is mm -hmm. realizing when you're stuck. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you're stuck, you have to realize you're stuck. So that moment that you realize, OK, I'm stuck. Get out right then and there and deploy all your options. OK, so this is going to be one of your options. So we're going to look around the truck. We're going to make sure that there's at least a hairline that you can see. You're not hung up on anything. Your differential is not going to catch mm -hmm. on anything, anything like that. So you want to make sure that you're not up to the frame, right? Mm -hmm. So once you get that established, then you go to your tires and find the easily accessible tire. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want to start clearing out that material. Like I said, you can scoop it out with the board. Mm -hmm. Then once you do that, get you a nice little patch underneath. Start jagging away mm -hmm. at it. Get this firmly up underneath the tire. Right. Then, if you haven't done it already, which you probably should have, that might have not got you stuck, but if you haven't done it already, once this is under the tire, mm -hmm. 
let some air out of the tire. Okay. And then it'll get you up onto the board nice, mm -hmm. and then you put it in low and uh, slow, consistent gas, come right up onto the board and get right on out. Okay. All right, cool. So do you think it's necessary to have like two sets if you're dually or? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, okay. you want them on your drive tires, right? Okay. And the more traction, the better. I actually carry eight on my four runners. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I have used all eight in one recovery situation. You have? I always tell people at least carry two sets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a total of four boards. All right. Very cool. Thanks, yeah. man. Absolutely. Appreciate man. it. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Awesome. Check us out online. Good? Yeah, show the other colors. Okay. Yep. Are there any different colors than than what we see here? Uh, I know, I think you said you're almost sold out, right? Red. Red? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Red black, is blue, we don't have here. this is like a tan, OD green kind of thing. Yep. Um, yeah, the tan. Okay, Red's and tan. orange. And yeah, the and then we're working on, uh, our next color is going to be like a lime green, like Monster Energy, Kawasaki. Oh, stuff okay, like cool. That. Yeah. All right. So, Very nice. Do you guys make anything else other than these? So we've got some lashing straps, we've got some bags, and then we're working on some different mounting hardware. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the thing that everyone has to figure out, or is that kind of like a universal thing, the mounting? Yeah, so Does there's a lot of companies out there that do uh -huh. make some mounting systems that will work with that. With this? Okay. Yes. Oh, All right. This looks like it almost has like a key kind of thing up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's some mounting systems out there that kind of I've twist seen, around. And yeah, I've seen around, that. Yeah. Those will okay. work on the same thing. They'll work on these. Okay, yep. cool. <laughs> so, you know, if you're in your van or whatever it is you have, for me, for us it's the van, obviously, which I've probably said a thousand times, you know, you want to, space is always a premium, right? So, what I like about Defiance Tools, we were checking these guys out yesterday, you've got some solutions for that, right? For the different things you need to bring with you, but you can put it in a small package. Right? Yep, That's absolutely. the way to. So, yeah. uh, tell the folks out there who you are. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, my name is Rich Culture with Defiance Tools. My wife Zoe. So, it's our company. We launched the brand in 2018 and registered the trademark. So, we actually have a van ourselves. We're in a Winnebago Travato. Not necessarily full time, but we spend a lot of time at shows and events. So, um, we develop products that we like to use ourselves. Uh, very small and compact. So, so whatever you buy, the BBQ Multi Tools, what you got here. Yeah, this is one of our most popular tools. It's a full set of barbecue tools, but it packs up nice and compact. That's really so when I take it apart, I got a grill fork, I got a spatula, I can put them together and make tongs. And that was magic that you just saw. Yeah. And wait, there's more. You get a knife, a nice cutting knife. We should be okay on those. A bottle opener and a corkscrew. Yeah. So everything you need. And then obviously, it's all stainless steel, lasts a long time, easy to clean. Packs up nice and compact. What's the warranty on something like this? We offer lifetime warranty on all our products. Okay. So anybody needs to, you can get a hold of us through our website. This is a very cool tool. And it's uh, $49.99. Yeah. The folks out there who are interested, we're, we'll put links in here for everyone who's interested. So what's, uh, I know I know you got you got the coffee grinder. Yeah, let's do the coffee so thing. another very thing important. is really, yeah, another thing is how yeah. to make coffee on the road. So this is actually a French press, but you drink from it. So it's insulated bottle, like a Yeti. Put your coffee grounds. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Put your coffee grounds and your hot water in here, and you're gonna let it sit four or five minutes as the coffee brews. Then the, the press has a filter on the bottom, so I let it brew four or five minutes, and then I press it down. So that pushes the grounds down. The coffee comes up. You could add cream or sugar, or you like it black, just like that. Screw on the lid, and you drink right from it, and you can take it to go. Yeah, and so that filter in there is very fine, right? Yeah, very fine mesh filter. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you wash that? Just run water just through it? Just wash it, clean it. You actually can unscrew it, take it all apart, yeah, rinse it under water. Mm -hmm. okay. We do recommend hand washing, so not dishwasher. It's not good for insulated bottles. And then you can use any ground coffee, but we also have a grinder available, so beans go on the top. Here's all my grind settings. There's 36 different settings, so I can make it just clips, so very fine to very coarse. Yeah, there's okay. little detents you can feel. Okay. It's a ceramic grinding element, so that will last for a long time. And then as you grind, your beans will... Coffee grounds end up in the bottom. And you get your coffee just like that. Awesome. 
That is nice. And I see you've got a couple of different um, demonstrations of the different grounds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah everything from like very fine, almost espresso grind to horse grind. So it's up to you what it were. And it's typically in a French press, you're kind of in the middle. In that middle one here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you don't want to go super far. Yeah, you don't want to be drinking a bunch of coffee. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And then I see you've got like an all, all encompassed or all together. Yeah, we put it together. Fun as I've seen the, uh, yeah, we actually do a kit in a in a molly bag. So you got your French press and your grinder in there. It's on your molly panels, back of your car seat, where we're gonna store it, and it's ready to go. And that's uh, and then you so you can get them individually as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we sell the French press by itself, the grinder by itself. We do combos and the storage combo. Yeah. He's a big fan of movies. Very cool stuff. Lola actually got the grinder, so you guys will see us grinding. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you guys. All right, guys. So we're hanging out here with Grant, and we are at Backwoods Adventure Mods. You have your own YouTube channel. I do. Yeah, what Arkansas Off Road. Arkansas yeah. Off Road. Check him out. Okay, so van stuff that you yeah. guys have going on here. Well, yeah. actually, first, tell us about Backwoods Adventure yeah. Mods. Yeah, man, so we started as the van company. We're kind of into Toyotas right now, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll get to a little bit later, but mm -hmm. primarily we do a lot of vans. So okay. we do Mercedes Sprinters, uh, Ford Transits, and we just got into the Promasters okay. as well. So, um, yeah, we make uh, man manufacture exterior components. So right. bumpers, roof racks, ladders, uh, rear swing outs. Um, okay. And kind of our bread and butter, what makes us different, is we use aluminum and steel. Okay. So a lot of these companies are just steel or just aluminum. Just aluminum. So we we put the steel like exactly where you need it, like even on this bumper, right? Okay. So we have um, an exterior uh, shell, mm -hmm. it's all aluminum. Okay. And then uh, this is your steel shackle mount where it okay. holds your feet. So and then it reinforces, so where the stress points, it's reinforced Correct, with steel? Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's one solid mm -hmm. steel piece that mm -hmm. you put on the, directly to the frame, you mm -hmm. drop your winch in, literally a one-man install, even okay. though this is so big. Right. And then you put this shell over it, and yeah. that's it, and you slip through yeah. these holes. So you get that big, beefy, butch look, yeah. but you still saving some saving 130 weight. pounds for this whole thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And most of what you guys have here that we're seeing, you'll have for the, if you don't have it for the transit, you're working on something, right? Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right, so give us, you know, give so, us yeah, the spin let's, around. Let's so, I like what this guy did right here with the roof. Yeah, this is a sweet wrap. It's like yeah, ghost so, camo or something. Ghost okay. Black camo. Yeah, that's nice. So he did it here and he did it on the sides as well. So what's unique to this van, uh, mm -hmm. this is one of my favorite builds. It's a 144 Sprinter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 2017. He's got 35 inch yeah, look tires at those. on it. Jeez. <laughs> and he wheels the snot out of this. Like, if you go and see uh, the Backwoods YouTube channel, uh -huh. we, we uh, put this thing through the ringer, man. It's sweet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you really want to go super off road, the 144 is yeah, that four by four. Is great. Yeah, the way to go. So we we'll make this, this ladder. ladder. Yeah, that's. Yeah. So, so uh, this is our roof rack, too. So, mm -hmm. what we do with the ladders, it covers uh, even the Rebels, too, the yeah. Mercedes Rebels. So, this middle section is the same across all our ladders we make. Okay. Just the top and bottom portions mm -hmm. uh, adapt. So, if you don't have a roof rack, we got one for the Sprinter. Okay. Uh, if you do, you know, it adapts yeah. to all this different stuff. I mean, and this is really beefy. Like, I'm a big dude. But yeah. I'm not afraid to. Yeah. I'll climb up on this. Well, on the ladder, what we found is a lot of ladders have the round uh, steps. Mm -hmm. And that hurts your feet, you know, if you, yeah. if you're in the beach or something, you're just kind of barefoot mm -hmm. up there. It's steady. It's yeah, steady for sure. Safe, yeah. Know, like the flat. And when it gets wet, it kind of drains into there. You get some traction. Oh, okay, yeah. Snow boots, yeah, that. yeah. That's grabbing you. That's good. I like that. I like a nice big ladder. It's all aluminum, so it's black yeah. too. Okay. Now, is that a one person install too? Probably not. Uh, for the van, you can do it one one person. Um, it's just kind of yeah. awkward. I mean, and it's, it's coming in heavy. two pieces, right? Uh, four. Four pieces, yeah. 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 Right. Okay, because down there. Okay. It's simple. So you can customize it to whatever shape you're trying to go around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this is our rear swing out system. Um, this is a very popular thing people do on these. Mm -hmm. We also manufacture um, these boxes too. Okay. So you can fit a, a E2000 Honda generator in here. Okay. We, we had oh, really? a customer that, you know, cut a hole and put an exhaust and like, mm -hmm. you know, so. We make this and this is a... Put his trash bag back here. Yeah, man. We, we make this too. <laughs> goes on top of it for extra storage. Mm -hmm. So this is our cam system. It's a one-handed operation for the swing out. So you pull it, and 
new doors come out. Oh, wow. Again, all aluminum construct, uh, construction for, for everything here. If you wanted to, you could hot stuff back here too. Yeah, little cubby holes. Yeah. yeah. Put some magnetic that's things there. Thinking. Sure. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And we do a non swing out bumper too, so just, okay, so just the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So one side of this is swing out and the other is. Oh, it swings too. Oh, that swings I just didn't too. Do it, okay. yeah. or, but you could do a non swing out. Yeah, just okay. the bumper. Like on our van, I'll show you in a minute. We have a non swing. Okay. So that's cool. That's that one. This is our company uh, 170 Sprinter. Mm -hmm. um, and this was outfitted by Torig. Okay. And um, they did the actual build out and the 12 volt system and everything. So, so is this a wrap on this? This is one? also a wrap. Yeah, yeah. this is a wrap on mm here. -hmm. Okay. This is our uh, brand new 2019 bumper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2019 plus. Mm -hmm. So again, it weighs uh, about 130. Same aluminum construction with the steel. And uh, where have you guys taken this beef? Uh, we took it with this one. Okay. We have uh, on our on our YouTube channel. I mean, you can see this right here. We actually yeah. pulled this 10,000 pound van up a mountain and really? with one shackle, and it did it did actually. Really nice. We actually okay. test our stuff like okay. out there. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's I actually like the, go. I like the fog light. Thanks. Oh, another thing, we have our own uh, lighting brand, Pathfinder. Oh, you do? Uh -huh. Okay. So this is our own stuff. Uh, oh, on the Forerunner over there, I'll show you our brand new product. Okay, so Pathfinder is you guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, what are we looking at right here? What's this? This is a GMRS uh, antenna. Okay. So it's just a low profile stealth antenna. That's how we communicate on the trail together. Okay, um, cool. It's much better than the CB radio. It's kind of an outdated really? deal. Okay. Yeah. I've got to look into that. Uh, and so the side steps here. So these guys... side steps are actually a prototype. Okay. Um, we're just we we literally tested them in Colorado. Yeah. So. Okay. I like this here though. That's nice. So if you do this, you'll have something like that for uh, transit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, our slim roof rack. So we have a slim roof rack that has a 50-inch single row light bar. Mm -hmm. And then we have an XL, which two double rows uh, can fit on there. So you can literally have a party up here. There's a full deck up there. And, mm -hmm. You know, you can hang out. Um, yeah. We got a, chairs. a new series of roof racks coming out soon called the Drifter, mm -hmm. which is more the uh, lightweight aluminum extrusion kind of okay. deal. So. so I think I heard that you're going to be doing something like that for the Transit. Correct. Okay. Yep, just for the Transit, yeah. Okay. Transit, Sprinter, um, Forerunner. Okay. And then how, what do people do with that? You know, like mine, I've got AC up there mm -hmm. and a van. And a, Yes. Like so for the drifter, what's cool, like you mm -hmm. can kind of see these little slots and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we have extrusion, so you can move these anywhere you want, based uh, off of what your setup is. Okay. Oh, cool. And so like the the uh, rack on this one here, mm -hmm. you call us, you tell us what your setup is, and then uh, we'll actually kind of spec it out for you. Okay. So. Okay. But with this, you'll be able to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. This is okay. more. Um, it's not necessarily a deck that you can right. hang out. Yes. Yeah, not for weight. Stuff. Just putting things up there. Right. 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 This is, I know we passed, but this is the... Yeah, hold on, let's go back here, Lola. And this here is the um, non-swing bumper for the 2019 Plus. So it works with all your sensors, uh, Pathfinder lighting again. So if you don't want the swing, this is a much better option instead of the, the factory plastic. Mm -hmm. so we make all of these uh, sensor um, housings and everything. Okay, so you can still use your sensors. Blind spots still work, yep. Yeah. Well, or yeah, the uh, transit one would be something like that. Right. It does do it. right. Actually, in our catalog, I think we got a, a preview of the Sprinter Drifter, which is mm -hmm. about the same. Transit. Same thing. Okay. What is this piece? So this is our still rolling again. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is our uh, brand new third gen Tacoma bumper. So mm -hmm. we're into the Toyota market now. Okay. So this is a demonstration of our oh, kind of what see. we do. You see, I like this. Yeah. Oh wow! So yeah, that's that aluminum shell that's incorporated in all right. of our bumpers, mm -hmm. and then this slips over the steel winch cradle. Mm -hmm. So this is super beefy and strong for your recovery mm -hmm. points. I think. Okay, so this goes in, then you put this over that. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's how you mix the steel with the aluminum. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and that's the one man uh, install I was talking about. So mm -hmm. you lift that up, you put your winch. Nothing's in front of you. You know, you can kind of have access to everything, and you slip this guy over. So. Oh, that's very cool. So when you guys do this roof rack here, you'll be able to put a light up on it also? Mm -hmm. That's our 50-inch uh, or 40-inch single rail light bar. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, yeah, I look forward to seeing that. That's something I'd like to get on, on my bed. And this here, while we're yeah. here, this is our brand new uh, Forerunner, 5th Gen Forerunner company truck that we're building. Um, very similar design for the uh, Tacoma. So 
So it's our highlight series. Um, the bumper together is 83 pounds, the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and this is our brand new Pathfinder light. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, we got an amber one and a clear. So. Okay, what's amber mostly used for? So amber, it cuts through the fog, the rain, the snow, okay. kind of bad uh, weather conditions. Mm -hmm. And it, it's awesome. So okay. what, what these are, we have a little side cutout on our lights. And, uh, you know, if you didn't have that, it would just be a, a direct spot I'm beam. Uh -huh. So this allows a little bit of floodlight to come on the outside. So okay. if you want distance, then you, you should get our clear ones. And you okay. can see super far with the clear yeah. ones. If you want uh, inclement weather, you know, it stuff. Would be this. Yeah, it's the, okay. the fogs. Good to know. So, and these are 275 a piece. So really not bad when you compare it to a lot of other ones out there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, so if folks are looking at this and they want to find out more, where yeah. do they go? Uh, BackwoodsAdventureMods.com. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I appreciate, hey, appreciate it, Brent. Well. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All Thank right, you guys. I'm going to keep going here. <laughs> Okay, so this is Storyteller. You guys have probably seen Storyteller stuff. And we, we'll do some stuff here, but the really cool thing in Storyteller is that there is a Transit, the Ford Transit model now. And uh, this is the prototype right here. So there's the thing. It's, the, it's a 144, you know, the shorter version, but yep, Ford, all wheel drive, 310 horsepower, you know, awesomeness. So we'll take a look at this and we'll take a, take a look at some other stuff here at Storyteller. So we're here with TC or TC Bougie, or Bougie. You got it. From, from Storyteller Overland. And uh, we just want to look at the whole booth here, but we want to start with the Ford Transit. Sure. Uh, that's what Lola and I have as a camper van. Um, it's a pretty capable, awesome van. Yeah. And so this is the first time you guys are putting it out. Is this a prototype or does this belong to someone? So we did our first prototype, uh, actually, I want to say back in 2019. And it okay. was a Ford Transit before they had the all-wheel drive version. Okay, so Quigley. Had or a whatever. Quigley 4x4 okay. conversion. I think the, I saw the Russos. The Russos are here yeah. and they uh -huh. uh, spent a lot of time in that vehicle. Mm -hmm. So we've really been developing um, our production model for quite a while. Okay. okay. So now that we have the all-wheel drive transit chassis available for 2022, we're offering uh, the Storyteller Overland Mode LT. It's mm -hmm. a play on the Model T right. uh, words there. Um, <laughs> right. On the all-wheel drive chassis. So Very this nice. is the first one off the line production. Mm -hmm. And this one actually is a slightly different chassis than what will be offered in the production. Oh, is this not all-wheel drive? It or? is all-wheel drive, but this okay. happens to be the 3.5 uh, naturally aspirated. It is not the 3.5 EcoBoost. Oh, this doesn't have the twin turbos Correct. and all that. But the but the production one will. Correct. Okay, so the production one will be this shorter version, but it will have that 300 and yep. 10 horsepower, so lots of low-end torque. So basically, it'll be about 95% of what you see here. Okay, very cool. Yeah. All right, so give us the run-through of what you guys have done here. All right, so it's kind of some unique things that we've mm -hmm. done with the Ford Transit. As you know, the Ford Transit, compared to the Sprinter, has a lower ground clearance. Yeah. So to alleviate that, we've done a van compass, two-inch suspension lift oh, you from have. the factory. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, which that. allows us to run our uh, Storyteller custom wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the only ones who sell those, offer that particular wheel, and that allows you to run the, the 255 uh, 70R16 wheels. Yeah, and so so the so this is all wheel drive, but it doesn't have it, that big knuckle, or it does have it. I'm just not seeing it. Through yeah, that you can't see it because of those of, the, the, of how the this design of the wheel. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. All right. All right. So if we move to this portion of the van, this is 95% the same as our Sprinter based mm -hmm. uh, modes. The only difference is being really because of the dimensions of the Ford chassis, mm -hmm. it's slightly different. So one group of people that I will mention and might mm -hmm. kind of steer towards an LT, mm -hmm. if you're above six foot two, you can still stand straight There's up more if you're six two, in here. six three, because you get about two inches more of headroom. Than you LT. would in, in, in the Sprinter vans. Correct. Oh, um, cool. And then the only other major feature uh, that looks different from the outside is on the sprinter base modes we have the control panel on the driver's side whereas in the transit okay that is located right here okay yeah all right let's get in here so let's come on in so as you see the rest of this as you've seen the other modes looks the same mm -hmm. so we still have our halo shower system and our groove lounge which yeah. the combination of the two really allow us to maximize the use of the space in these yeah. smaller vans so this does some transforming which 
Can you show us that? Yeah, so right now you're set up uh, in basically a drive mode, but we mm -hmm. also have the Lagoon table in place. Okay. So in drive mode, we've got two three-point harness pull-tested seat belts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have seat belt seating for four people. Mm -hmm. But we also want to be able to utilize this in a couple other configurations, one of which is I can put this into what I kind of call a, a lounge setup. So on a rainy day Goes like we had this thing. morning, we'll put this here, and now myself, you could sit there. Yeah. We can have comfortable seating with the two front seats turned around, comfortable yeah. seating for four adults. So two people working, but still talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like you said, if you're camping or with eating. friends or maybe yeah. in their tents, um, yeah. you know, we can hang out here on a rainy day. Yeah. This table is adjustable for height and it does swivel around. Okay. Okay. So that's one configuration. Would you like to go see the guest bed mode as well? Yes, that would right. be awesome. So let's do that. So the one thing we have to do for that is we do have to remove the lagoon table. All right. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm just going to stow this store over here away. for the moment. This does store right here between the flex space and the group lounge. Okay. But just for time's sake, I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to move this. What's okay. under this groove lounge? So under your groove lounge is your S-Bar Rickson fuel-fired furnace. Okay. So. And in this case, it's a gas-powered one. Correct. So yeah. it sips mm -hmm. off your gasoline fuel tank, so nice. you don't have to carry propane. Yeah. Again, also what's kind of unique about our system too is we do have the heat exchanger. Mm -hmm. So when you're driving, you get to heat your water and heat the living space with engine. While you're driving. Correct. That's nice. Also, there's a second glycol loop that mm -hmm. heats your gray tank. So okay. in the winter time, so you don't get a gray water tank popsicle, mm -hmm. you're, you're heating that. That's very efficient. Okay. All right. So we want to go ahead and set up now. We're so going to go ahead. Flips all the way we do over. need to push that front seat. Here, I'll do all that. Okay. Here we go. Yep. There you and go. We'll move it up. Yeah. I'm not. I don't have the uh, power mode on my van. So the only downside to the powered setup, right, just takes a little yeah. bit longer to yeah. do that. So now, sorry, Lola. Right there. I'll sit down here. We've got a 72-inch long bed. Yeah. Okay. For uh, you know the guests that you happen That's to great. meet along the way or you want to bring a, mm -hmm. a third family member. If the kids are coming along. Yeah. A lot of people of will go ahead and set this up with uh, okay. a blanket and some pillows and you mm -hmm. just have a full-time couch. Yeah. So that's another option. Okay. Uh, the other cool thing you can do with this and probably the more common way I utilize it, it's a great spot to just recline. Mm -hmm. So we can recline this way, enjoy the view out the front of the van. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So I can do that. Yeah. That's one option. Yeah, that's nice. And I'll show you one other option. If, if you had like a, a table or something, you can work in the recline <laughs> mode. Yep. So I could do this as well ah. and relax this way. So if the view is out that way. Absolutely. Oh, it's very, very cool. very flexible space. Yeah, this is awesome. All I'm right. always asking how come Storyteller doesn't uh, sell this so that people can put it in whatever van. But I know. This is, along with the Halo Shower, the most common <laughs> items we get from DIY builders yeah, wanting please. to uh, get this. <laughs> yeah. You do have so do you compartment. Got, so what's oh these this is just one storage here? You have one storage compartment here. You have some storage here, but this you have lockable storage. Oh right that's there. cool. That's okay. awesome. So yeah, now we're back in drive mode. Around it. If I put this um, in this most vertical position, which we're about there right now, mm -hmm. now I'm gonna maximize the amount of room I have for when I want to take a shower. Okay. So right now, now we're going to shower mode. We're going to go ahead and open up our flex space. Our flex space is not only where we store our Dometic cassette toilet, but it's mm -hmm. also the step to get into our bed. Okay. Our bed height is designed to be a balance between headroom and also storage space in your garage. Mm -hmm. We want people to be able to fit their mountain bikes in here without having to break down their bed each morning. Right. And you can do that with this. You can take um, mountain bikes with a large frame, full suspension, 29 inch wheels, and you can fit them they in They can here. fit underneath here. Correct. Oh, cool. So again, so we have our step. Also, we're set up right here, guys. You can see this is also a workspace. So oh. if you put one side of the bed up, you now can, you have the opportunity to you set up all your things here. As a yeah. workspace. If you're working out of it. Yeah. Um, now that we have L-Track removable cabinets, which is new for 2022, so you see oh. we have the cabinets on the right, but we have them taken out on the left. You have a lot of options here with all this L-Track. So whether you right. want to hang, um, you know, rock climbing equipment, or if you want to put a couple monitors in here and do your day trading, yeah. you've got a lot of options with this space. Yeah, that's just... A lot of people awesome. wanted more headroom. Mm -hmm. um, if they're doing weekend trips, maybe they don't need two sets of cabinets. So now you have that option of having more headroom over mm -hmm. here. Um, if you if you're okay with losing a little so bit of storage. So when you get space. it, how many cabinets do you get with it? It comes with the full set. So you the, so there's two missing from this. Correct. Okay, so you can take those out. You and can take all of them out if you want. Right wanted down to. here. Oh, they're down here. Okay. Also, a cool um, 
accessory that you can get on the aftermarket Canyon Adventure Vans actually mm -hmm. makes a storage system for this side of the bed and it utilizes the existing cabinets. Okay. That's oh, that's option. interesting. Okay, cool. All right, we'll continue with the Halo shower setup. Yeah, let's see how that goes. So, so there's a, the, the cassette is missing, but it does come with the van. It does. Yeah. And y this drains into your 24 gallon gray tank, which again is heated with that glycol loop. Okay. So easy enough to get the shower. I can shower just like this. Mm -hmm. However, you can drop this shelf down if you want a little bit more room to maneuver. Okay. Now, I just want to show you with the shelf even in place, I still have quite a bit of room to shower in here. Mm -hmm. So I typically, in my personal van, just leave it up. Okay. But you can, I've had six foot three people in here and you can shower very comfortably. The cool thing, mm -hmm. as opposed to having a bathroom, a very tiny bathroom with rigid mm -hmm. walls, mm -hmm. um, you'd be hitting your elbows on the walls now. I'm just mm -hmm. maneuvering this with this good. shower curtain. Right. Okay. Your so shower, Bougie, you actually have, you don't have this van. Correct. Which, which one do you have? Uh, in what, 2020, okay. I purchased uh, a 2020 mode. We only sold one trim level. Okay. I didn't work for Storyteller at the time. I was mm -hmm. just a guy looking for a van and I settled on the mode. So I bought it last June off the lot, mm -hmm. which you can't do anymore. Yeah, that's not heard of. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I've got 42,000 miles on it and okay. I love it. It's just been And so you band. have the shower. I do. Because I know that's what a lot of people ask. It's tough for me to answer that because yeah. I don't have one of these. I don't use the shower. So sure. tell us pros and cons of the shower. So I find it very useful and most people, once they get to actually see it in person, they realize mm -hmm. what you gain by having a shower that you can stow yeah. away. And yeah. what I love about it, one, is that this fabric moves with me, okay? I'm mm -hmm. not restricted in a tiny room. Mm -hmm. Two, this is washable, it's replaceable, it, it's removable. Mm -hmm. So if I were to ever accidentally, say, store this away and it wasn't dry mm -hmm. and two weeks went by and it got mildew on mm -hmm. it, I can either wash it or replace it, so okay. that's nice. Um, but it does dry pretty quickly, so my routine, once I get done showering and I dry off in there, mm -hmm. I have a shower mat I carry and I store mm -hmm. it in that same compartment with okay. the toilet. Mm -hmm. I take my towel, I put it right here, mm -hmm. I drape it over the groove lounge, mm -hmm. and then what I do here, I soak up the excess water with mm -hmm. that towel, mm -hmm. and I let this drain over out. here. Okay. I'll let you it can dry. put the fan on or something you like that. The fan or the AC, air. and depending on where you are, but again, if you're in non-humid climates, this can dry in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I put it away. You can roll this to make it look nice, but in practical use, I just stuff it in there. Okay. okay. So, I mean, if, you know, obviously you work for Storyteller, but if you could say there was a negative to it, what would you say that it was? Um, I would say the only negative I could think of is that, it, if you could call it a negative, is that it takes it about 30 seconds to set it up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whereas if I had a fixed shower here mm -hmm. um, that didn't require any setup, I could walk in there and be showering and... Yeah five seconds just turn right. on the water mm -hmm. now we do have a hot water recirculation feature okay. so mm -hmm. um, the nice thing is when you want to wash your dishes or you want to take a shower you want instant hot water because you have 21 gallons of fresh water in yeah. a van fresh water is precious so right. I don't have to waste any water just trying to get the water up to temperature yeah. as soon as I step here and turn it on I got instant it's hot good. water okay so the flip side of that i would say is that because you can do this for people who are wondering you get all this space here yeah right? now so you have when all you this need it space. yeah now maybe like for for myself and other people that do have the the full baths they store stuff in there yeah. and you don't have that but you have all this room sure. whatever so what goes what do you usually have on top of this when you, so when the flex space if i'm set up in a drive mode mm -hmm. sometimes what i'll use this is just excess storage i'll have um, some mm -hmm. duffel bags here okay uh, so if you know sometimes you might spend a night at a friend's or an Airbnb, mm -hmm. now you got a duffel bag of stuff. You just grab carry. it and go. Yeah. It's good to go. Okay. But otherwise, I, I really like having it open mm -hmm. because that allows me to put this down in that lounge setup. Yeah. So yeah. more often than not, yeah. I have this set up not in drive mode because it's just me and a dog. Yeah, you could just... I just leave it in a couch set up a lot yeah. of times. That makes sense. Okay, awesome. So we're going to keep going further here. Okay, so a couple other items I'll point out, again, that are the same across all of our vans. Um, one thing we did add for 2022, which I think is a great feature, uh, is that you have a lockable storage compartment right Back here there. on this okay. side. So there's a couple of and that, lockable storage That goes the full length of your water cabinet. Oh, nice. So use your imagination, but yeah, think all the uh, things you that you put can put there. fire sticks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what I call fire sticks. In yeah, there. absolutely. You know, but that's great. And I think it's a great spot because, you know, in the event someone did get into your van, I just feel like that's not a spot that 
you know, they're not going to think about it. Yeah. If they're in a hurry to get in and yeah. get out, it's probably not so, an area that's yeah. going to look Typically, at. Typically, it's an opportunity thing. Yeah. yeah. They want to get in and out. So that's awesome. The other features mm -hmm. uh, of the van and for 2022 probably be easier if we step around to the back. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, so before we go, though, yeah. um, we've looked at, the, at these cabinets. What do we have here? Just microwave? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So you've got your microwave, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to open this. Mm -hmm. And this is where your induction cooktop is stored. Oh, okay. So this is a portable induction cooktop, so I can mm -hmm. cook inside or outside. Oh, cool. Um, mm -hmm. Our tables, both the lagoon table and mm -hmm. your flip-down table outside, for this year, we went with an aircraft-grade aluminum, aluminum with a honeycomb mm -hmm. core. Mm -hmm. So that way, if your van's parked in the sun all day, it's not going to warp not your table. Warping. Okay. And then we'll just quickly look at this other storage here for you folks. Uh, if you're looking lots of... Uh, this is the large one. Typically, we have your, yeah. your pots and pans in that one. Right yeah. There. There you go. And I noticed there's quite quite a few of these. Uh, what is this, a clip here? Or, no, actually just a hook. Yeah, just a little okay. hook. And then also you have a Bluetooth speaker, which comes oh. with all of our, our bands. Oh, so this well. comes with the van. It does. You could pull this out. Awesome. And I like the use of po of like these net pockets, pockets and things like that all around. Oh, yeah, we is definitely got to talk about this. Yeah. So we got mode com. So this is basically I love our this screen center for yeah. the van. So this yeah. comes from the marine industry. There's some high-end yachts that utilize this type of screen. Mm -hmm. uh, something to note besides the fact that you have this very user-friendly interface now, mm -hmm. this is all solid state. So we've eliminated a lot of the fuses that you uh, have in the previous year's systems. Okay. But here I've got all my climate controls. I've got now dimmable lighting, controllable right from the panel right here. Mm -hmm. Once I put my finger on the right spot. There you go. There you go. So who makes this? I don't know the name of the vendor. Okay. Off the top All right. Of my head. We'll have to get but it's that customized for you. for you guys. It is. Yeah, that's great. Um, but you know, right from here, even at a glance, I've got water pump, hot water status. I've mm -hmm. got my fresh tank and my gray tank okay. levels, and then whatever my thermostat okay. target temperature. Yeah, is. I was wondering if this was like Firefly or a different company. And now. For 2022, okay. we took our analog Volta panel and it's mm -hmm. electronic. So the cool thing about this, again, at a glance right now, I can see based on what I'm consuming, mm -hmm. what the time remaining for my battery system is based on my current state of charge. So yeah. we're just over 30% right here, which means I've got almost 60 hours left just utilizing right now. Basically, we just have the lights on in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's your... That is our Volta panel now yeah. to turn it on and off. Yeah. And now we've got this little yeah. flip down Secret lid agent. because it was so bright <laughs> cool. before. Yes. Uh, it would kind of interrupt people's no, uh, that's good sleeping. Idea. Uh, that's great. Yeah, I like the feel here, man. This feels more high tech. There's your inverter status uh -huh. right there. Mm -hmm. Again, we made it a little bit more simple now. So let's say you go to a friend's house mm -hmm. and they want to provide power to you, but they don't mm -hmm. have a 30 amp outlet. Right mm -hmm. here, you can control actually how many amps you're going to utilize. Oh. So you don't plug into their 20 amp outlet, try to draw 30 and then just throw the oh, sugar cool. breaker. You can yeah. adjust that rate. So right this is lithium. It is. So how many amp hours or what is it we got going? So this, this is now? an automotive grade lithium system. Mm -hmm. It's made in Holland, Michigan by Volta Power Systems. Mm -hmm. Volta Power Systems makes the second alternator. Mm -hmm. They make our inverter, 3200 mm -hmm. watt inverter, and then they make the battery pack. Mm -hmm. So that battery pack is a 12 kilowatt hour system. Mm -hmm. Your alternator is about eight kilowatts. Mm -hmm. So what that means, I know most of the people are used to hearing amp hours. So mm -hmm. at a with a 12 volt draw mm -hmm. you're looking at you know basically a thousand amp hours of battery power really yeah okay that's a lot it is it's enough to run that ac all night long yeah which absolutely is, which is a nice feature very cool all right let's go outside okay i i always like storyteller has these tables that's another thing that i i wish someone you know people could be able to get outside of storyteller yeah like i noticed that's magnetic Flip it down. And you again, got the pl power plug power here. right there for your induction yeah. cooktop. Yeah, you could put that out here and do some cooking. I love that. Very nice. And then just here, I want to show you. Here's where we have our awning controls as well as some uh, other uh, cabin light button right here. So if I come into the van at night, I don't have to go all the way to the panel to activate my lighting. Our refrigerator, an isotherm unit right here. As you can see, it's designed so that I can go to the grocery store, load groceries in without even getting in the van. Likewise, if I'm cooking outside, I can grab ingredients for cooking. If I just want to grab a cold beverage, I can do that without getting into the van. For all the features and specification, guys, you can go to the website. Just remember, Storyteller, we have see-through pricing. You're going to pay the same price no matter where you buy these vans across the dealer network throughout the country. This, uh, The Model T 153-748 is the same price no matter where you go.
Keep going, I'm coming. All right. Okay, so now for the back end. Yeah. Oh, you've got a lot of uh, okay. things here. Okay. So, in the rear of the Transit, again, this looks just like the other modes, but basically the, one of the big changes for 2022, we've really streamlined and made a um, our water controls much more user-friendly to utilize. So now we have everything on the outside, whereas previous years you had a water cabinet with some valves inside and you just had to know which valves to turn. Now it's very simple to use. We have a single input for water on the side, no matter if you're using fresh water or city water, okay. and then you just simply control what you're doing on this um, series of levers right here. So right now, if I wanted to draw water from my fresh tank, it's right here. But if I need to fill it, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it that way. So it's very easy. I've got a winterize function right here. Another cool feature, we made it much easier to add water to your water tank. If you don't have a hose bib location, I could simply have a five gallon jerry can of water outside. I take a hose of appropriate length and I can stick that hose end into my water tank and I can siphon it into my fresh water tank. Oh, well, that's neat. So a lot of people wanted the option if they wanted to be in areas where they didn't necessarily have the ability to hook up to a hose, but we can still add water to our fresh water tank. Also a nice feature, We've added, we changed our rear shower setup. A lot of people utilize the rear shower to simply rinse off rinse gear. Off. Mm -hmm. So now, I've got the hose right here. Basically now, we've got include a hose with a garden hose adapter, yeah. basically. We plug in here, yeah. and now I can simply use a hose to clean off okay. mountain bikes, stand up paddle boards, exactly. your pets. Yep. It's a good setup. We went from a hot and a cold dial to a mixing valve now, so it's a little bit easier to adjust your hot water. Okay. Also, one of my favorite features on the 2022s, one that doesn't get talked about too often, the access to our water cabinet is here as opposed to the inside before. So a lot of times you have gear here, it's hard to access your plumbing cabinet. Now it's on the rear right here, but you have heat ducted all the way to the rear of the vehicle as well. That. So previous years, you just had one uh, heat vent up front. Now it's ducted through your plumbing cabinet. So okay. uh, kind of a positive benefit to that is you're gonna end up keeping all of your plumbing here a little bit warmer throughout the winter. Um, other than that, only other changes over here were really just we added another vent to better ventilate our 3200 watt inverter. And again, right here, we've got access to some of our circuit breakers right here into our Volta system and then you've got 12 volt USB as well as cargo light controls here. We also have cargo light controls at the front of the garage and that was based on customer feedback as well because you'd be inside trying to access the garage area. Right, you now don't want do to have to go all the way inside. Exactly, perfect. and then you've got circuit breakers uh, accessible right here. Okay. That pretty much sums up the rear. Yeah, Here's your tow hitch here. I will say one thing, one nice thing about the transit, if people have, you know, towing needs that are a little bit uh, above and beyond the transit 5,000 pound towing limit, you got a 6,500 tow uh, capacity with the transit. So that's a benefit. I see there's a roof rack up there. Absolutely, same roof rack that we have on all of our modes. That's a front runner system. So it's got a great ecosystem of accessories to go along with it. Also, as you've seen on other, other modes, it's a very strong, robust system. Uh, Canyon Adventure Vans does a rooftop lounge system, so where you can actually seat, uh, have seating for three with a small bamboo table for beverages, and then as well as a shade structure for shade. Uh, it's another great way to utilize the space in your van. Okay, so you can't stand up there. You absolutely, up there absolutely. Use the best space. Yeah, and it's just a quick demo to kind of show you, you know, the Illuminous ladder, very, very robust. Sturdy. And then I'll go up top here. And easily, like, easy 190 pounds, jump around up here. It's very stable, okay. roof rack system. A wind turbine? Well, no, I have not. Should I, should I look at wind turbines? So now instead of a fresh water and a city water, we've integrated that. That's one um, water panel now, and you just control what you're doing with it with the series of valves on the rear water control panel. Exactly. All right, so now you've got the smart plug, which seems to be the new hotness in the industry. Yeah, so that, I think it's just a, you know, a better option than the traditional RV 30 amp plugs. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go over the Beast. So the Beast is our solution for people who want uh, the turnkey option with a lot of the upgrades that we see mode owners doing on their own, but they don't want to go ahead and uh, deal with ordering all the parts themselves, they don't want to have to find installers, 
they want to have the ability to roll the cost of all those upgrades into their 20-year RV loan as well as the NADA value reflects all those upgrades because you're buying it as one turnkey package. So from front to back, I'm going to show you the differences. Okay. I mean, really between uh, a transit or a mode class that, that the Beast offers. So one, we're going to start out, you've got our Tenzig uh, brush guard, which allows us to mount these KC highlights in front. Under the hood, we've got an ARB twin air compressor, and you've got air chucks in the front and the back. Here's the front one right here. So you don't even have to open up the hood. You can fill your front tires from there. I've totally been here with you this whole time. I know you have. Yeah. We're just <laughs> getting into that. it. We're yeah. getting into all the upgrades yeah. on the Beast. You've yes. got the Agile Rip Suspension Kit Ride Improvement Package, mm -hmm. which gives your front coilovers basically about a two inch uh, suspension lift across the, the platform, which so allows you to what run. The sprinter comes with? Correct. And yeah. that allows you to run 275, 70, 17s on these for 2022 custom beast wheels that this is now one of the first ones off the line but the beast wheels actually say beast here and have a beast logo on oh, the cap. okay and how big are the beast wheels these are 17 inch wheels okay. versus the 18s yeah okay that's allowing you to run a 275 70 17 okay. and also the great thing about these wheels in the past we had to utilize a spacer kit mm -hmm. to accommodate them and now uh, this has the proper offset so you can eliminate oh, okay. the need for a space. You don't have to do space. What's up, gang? Okay. How you guys doing? Good. All right. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. All right. What are the other uh, features of the Beast? Uh, is it just the off-road uh, So uh, now, going over what we just, uh, we just went over the front, now we're getting into, you've got 360 degree off-road lighting, also, mm -hmm. also with KC highlights. KC lights, uh-huh. We went over the ARB twin air compressor, and now also the inside, you've got the auto start high idle feature. Okay. So if you're in a scenario to where it's hot weather, you've been using the air conditioning all day, mm -hmm. let's say it's three in the morning, you, your battery level gets down to 20%. Mm -hmm. If armed, you're gonna, your vehicle's gonna go ahead and auto start and high idle for a period of time to mm -hmm. recharge your battery On system. its own. And it'll do okay. that while you're sleeping. Okay, awesome. It's a great feature for people with pets. It's another added safety feature yeah. so that you maintain a, a climate controlled environment. I wasn't always a fan of that second alternator, but they really do charge the batteries up fast. Very quickly. Seen. Again, yeah. there's a lot of, um, you know, different platforms that have second alternators, mm -hmm. but there's really nothing, uh, you know, in the class of an eight kilowatt mm -hmm. so that you can go, you know, with the capacity that we have yeah. to go from 20% to 100% in 60 or 70 minutes of drive time. Yeah. It really, if you drive each day for about an hour, you can have AC each night. Yeah. Really so you nice. don't really have to worry about plugging in at all. Correct. A lot yeah. of people don't even carry their power cord. Yeah, really? So. Okay. I mean, and there are folks out there who think the solar panels are going to do it alone. That's not true. And not true at all. Yeah. You know, the 90 watts certainly does something. It does mm -hmm. help, um, you know, offset the usage mm -hmm. of your inverter and your lights. But really, if you want to charge um, utilizing solar, you need to add a couple uh, hundred watts of accessory solar, which now you can get portable briefcase mm -hmm. kits. And I've done it myself out at Descend on Ben. I added a hundred watt auxiliary panel, and that would just allow me to maintain my state of charge. Yeah. Is there something different in here we can take a look at? So other than what we already went over, mm -hmm. in the Beast, you get some interior mm -hmm. uh, nylon storage solutions. Oh yeah. So both on the rear seats, above okay. the kitchen area, and then in the garage area, that comes with the Beast. And, and this, the, the nylon inserts in the windows? That comes on all platforms. Oh, all, they do? All of the modes okay. do come with a full set of window shades mm -hmm. and a full set of bug screens. Oh, they do, okay. We just don't have them in And I noticed the, the, the Beast has some switches up in there. Correct. I'm not sure. For all of your lighting, um, you have yeah, your lighting right control you, panel. Lolo. You have your lighting control panel. Mm -hmm. There. Okay. The nylon bags. Let me just get the nylon yeah. bags. And Lola, we didn't mention it before, but I'll point it out here in the Beast. So if you notice, in 2022, the fan is not in the center of the vehicle. Right. That's right. So that, along with, we took two 45-watt panels that sat on either side of your air conditioner, mm -hmm. and we made that 190-watt panel, and that is also on the passenger side of the vehicle. So now, your driver's side roof rack is completely open, okay. the full length. To, so to actually store stuff. That would allow you to put kayaks or canoes, or also, you have a wider space up front, so now you could put those Yakima Thule-type cargo bikes. Boxes okay. up front and not on obstruct there. your fan. Okay. What um, what awning do you guys? This use is a here? Gerard awning. Gerard. Okay. It is electric. Yeah, and that's attached directly to the front runner the, rack system. Yeah, to the rack system. Okay, very cool. Correct. Right. Yeah. And then we only have. Hold on one, one second, Lola. Yeah, yeah and, one and then second. you. 
Yeah, you, you're good. showing that? Okay, cool. Yeah. And then do you want to show this for the folks yeah, who are looking? Yeah, we kind of did it over on the LT Oh, well. you did? Yeah. So again, all your specs and features are going to be on the website. Your see-through price on the Beast, no matter where you buy it in the country, 198 746 Yeah. I noticed there's a little storage down here. Yep, and that goes uh, cool. for all the modes. Oh, okay. All the sprinter based modes have yeah. the storage area. Very the cool. transit uh, version, just slightly smaller. Yeah. That's okay. a good place. I usually keep a, uh, uh, a, a little brush and a, a, brush, yeah. a, a brush and a uh, dustpan right yeah. there. Yeah. And then the last thing we'll go over on the, on the Beast, second to last, you have your Owl Van Sherpa rack. Yep. So you know you can utilize that to carry a awesome. myriad of things. And yep. then we have their Expedition rear tire carrier with a full size spare. If we come over here, we'll see the last feature that ha that the Beast has, and that is for 2022, we're taking that Volta power system and we're giving people the ability to share that power. So right here, you've got a 27 amp output L L530 connection. Basically, this entire vehicle is now a generator. So if you take if you take scenarios like the uh, winter storm blackout in Texas, or you know people having to evacuate their homes in California during wildfires, now we have this power. If you're parked next to your friends with a four wheel camper, you can provide that 27 amp shore power uh, to share with them. Or even if you do have a house, you can plug in. Absolutely. Yep, yeah. keep all your, you know, if you got a big freezer with all your food yeah. in it, keep that fresh. Um, That's awesome. It's just a, another yeah. great feature. Yeah, you can run an extension cord to it, and then you guys are using Smart Plug, I see. Correct. Yeah. That's cool. How Have you guys been doing that for a while? Or? Smart Plugs, uh, I, I have a 2020, it's on mine. I think we had it in 2019 as well. We've oh, been cool. using Smart Plugs. Okay. Yeah, I've just seen uh, other companies switching over to that. I like the bump outs, which I noticed there's bump outs as well. Uh, yeah, we utilize the flare space uh, fiberglass bump outs, which allow us to I'm sorry, sleep. hold on, let me, let me okay. let Lola get yeah, that. Go ahead. Sorry. Get this on our go back. To okay, it. yeah. So go ahead, so, get the bump out. Yeah, the bump outs are great. That allows that ability to sleep east west versus north south, because if you had a bed, that you're sleeping north south, it would go ahead and intrude into your living space. Yeah. So again, it's maximizing the yeah. use of space. That's on the Ford as well. I think it's a little shallower on yep, the Ford. Yep, they're a little bit different. Yeah. And on the on the Sprinter, your driver side bump out is larger mm -hmm. than the passenger side because you have to accommodate the sliding door. I see. Okay. Awesome. And there's a little step here built into the bumper. You get the Storyteller uh, Overland Up Dog Step. Cool. Yeah, you're, you're good. And I think we could probably do the classic and stealth kind of together. Yeah, sure. Because okay. there's yeah. just a couple items. Let me get out of here. point out. We'll get Jeffrey out of frame there. Yeah. Kick me out of the way. All right, ready to roll? Ready. Yes. All right, guys. So now we're going to kind of combine the stealth and the classic. Um, again, website for your see through pricing 157 747 for the classic. So basically, the differences between the classic and the stealth, aside from the paint options. So we can get white or pebble gray in the classic. The classic okay. Same as the Beast as well. Okay. Uh, in the Stealth, you either have the blue gray or you have Silonite gray metallic as your color choices. And it's that more muted look, right? So we have the vinyl graphics pass, uh, package across the hood wrap and then along uh, the running board area. We also have blacked out wheels. Mm -hmm. And then the only other major feature that you're gonna see from the exterior On the stealth, we've got the Storyteller manufactured invader rack system. Oh, so this is your own. So this is rack our own system. design. It utilizes some industry standard attachments. Um, so you can go to Home Depot or Amazon. Basically, anything you can attach these brackets to, you can mount here. So we've got uh, some Rotopax options. We do have a spare tire carrier. What is this? This one, I believe, was a fishing pole carrier. Fishing pole carrier, okay. See, we just kind of have some stuff attached to there to show you what options are. I think right. this was used to attach a cooler. So you could just come up with your own things or folks out there can make stuff. Correct. Um, and also, uh, people have asked this on the Facebook page. This is fully removable. So if you mm -hmm. want to utilize a different rack system, you can yeah. do that. How much weight can this carry off the door? Are we changing hinges or anything? I'm not sure what the, no, it is. it does attach to the hinges. So it uh -huh. is a very uh, strong system. I'm not sure of the actual weight capacity. Okay. I know it can at least accommodate a spare tire on either, on, on this side. So that I imagine the same weight rating for the passenger side as well. And then the Stealth, again, has that feature, the M Power Station. And the Classic's the only one that does not offer that. Oh, cool. 
So for 2022, that's coming on everything except the class. So classic is your entry level, right? Correct. With storyteller. Okay. And then also the one thing I didn't mention, uh, I think for the Beast and the Stealth, we do replace the front door speakers with JBL speakers you to do. give me a little bit okay. better sound. Yeah, and these roof racks, you can go up there. I see chairs. Correct. So obviously, folks can go up there and uh, sit. Do you want to go up, Lola? Yeah, I'll just and show get a view it. So you can see kind of what it looks like with the new capacity. If you hand it to her when she gets up, yeah. then you can see what that offset fan looks like. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this very extensive look at the lineup here of Storyteller. Bougie, thanks so much. It's good talking that. to you guys. Thanks for coming out to visit. Absolutely. So I'm going to punch out uh, and make a specific video with the uh, Ford Transit version, the Mode LT, um, and then I'll put everything else together for folks out there. Just as a quick overview, tell us about Storyteller. Where are you guys? How did the company start, etc.? So Storyteller Overland is based in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, and prior to doing these vans that you see here mm -hmm. did some stuff in the custom coach uh, world you know just kind of doing some van customizations mm -hmm. um, in 2019 is when we came out with our first uh, modes okay and then I bought a 2020 June of last year mm -hmm. and then in 2021 we came out with three different trim levels that was the stealth um, classic and the beast mode okay. and then 2022 we're offering now our fourth yeah. trim level and that's on the Ford Transit all-wheel yeah. drive platform Wow, so with a, that's a very short history, but you guys have like really grown the brand uh, and the name recognition for what you guys are doing in the Class B van world. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's pretty neat to uh, you know from the time that I had kind of uh, joined in to see the the growth of the community and and really kind of the development of the community. Just it's a, a pretty tight new group of owners. Uh, mm -hmm. There's been a ton of just owner-driven events and meetups, uh, and it's been really neat to kind of watch everyone really start this adventure together. The owner group has been a great resource on Facebook for mm -hmm. each other. It's nice to have a van to where there's, you know, nowadays we're, we're approaching a thousand vans mm -hmm. on the road. Wow. So now you're not the only one with that van. You have a, mm -hmm. a large group of owners to uh, ask questions or, you know, share ideas and modifications mm -hmm. with. Um, yeah, it's, it's just where do the experience. owners go to to get into that group or potential owners? Yeah, right? so uh, yeah, potential owners or anyone just kind of interested in the the mode lifestyle, uh, they go to the Facebook group. It's the Storyteller Overland Insiders uh, Facebook group. Okay, uh, if you go on there, uh, you can join that, learn more about. Um, uh, the modes learn more about owning them and then it's a great uh, place for people who are interested in gaining mode to ask questions yeah absolutely owners. so just one question I mean uh, I know I get this from people does storyteller make anything longer than this are you just in the 144 no so right now we only build on the the chassis that you see here mm -hmm. and that is the mercedes-benz 144 mm -hmm. 4x4 chassis mm -hmm. and then as well as the transit all-wheel drive 148 chassis yeah keep it for short fun maybe more capable and what's we the, we don't take we don't take customer owned vans and do mm -hmm. upgrades or customizations we uh, sell the vans just as you see here mm -hmm. we get the chassis directly from ford and mercedes mm -hmm. do our build out and that's how you buy them so they are we're a class b rv manufacturer so all of our vans are rvia certified um, mm -hmm. class be motorhomes, mm -hmm. which means they qualify the RV financing, typical 20-year financing, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, qualify for any tax deductions that might be involved with having a second home, mm -hmm. you know, the interest on your loan, okay. etc. Yes, <laughs> I know exactly how that is. Are there any questions that folks always ask you guys that we should hit here before we get out? I would say the most common questions we get at the shows, um, you know, prior to this year, people would want to know when are we going to do a transit version? Right. So, so we've answered, <laughs> answered that. We've answered that. Yeah. Uh, I'd say the next common question is we got a lot of families of five so mm -hmm. they're they're asking can they seat five people mm -hmm. um, or are you gonna build a 170 mm -hmm. and at this time you know there's there's no plans that I could speak of uh, mm -hmm. that we're, we're working on a 170 mm -hmm. you know really the beauty of the the shorter chassis as you know mm -hmm. is that you can take them anywhere park them anywhere mm -hmm. Um, that, that's what's nice in an adventure yeah. van, having that yeah. shorter wheelbase, being mm -hmm. able to do a U-turn on a National Forest Road, and you know, being able to have you know, the advantages of a shorter wheelbase when going off-road. Right. So it's not 100% no, maybe sometime in the future, Anything but right can happen. now, yeah, there's no, no plans. Correct. Yeah. 
Uji, thanks so much, yeah, man. That's been fun. <laughs> yeah, put in a lot of hard work on that one. I hope you guys appreciate it out here. We're going to move on here in the show and check out some other cool stuff.